Hello guys, what is our Thursday tradition? Yes, it's testing your Laravel skills. So for the seventh week in a row now, I post Laravel repository with tasks that you should perform and fix the errors and make the tests green. So topic of today is Laravel validation skills with nine tests. They are all pretty simple or most of them. It's just testing the basics. Do you know how to write validation rules with structure like this one or how to show validation errors in the blade? or how to show specific validation error with some blade directive, or how to make the older values stay in the form even if the failed validation appeared, and similar tasks. And it is all covered by automated tests, so I will not review your submissions. So in the test validation test, there is for example test simple validation rules method. It fires the post URL and assert that there is a validation error happening with the title and that status is 302. When the validation happens on the web, it redirects to the previous form, to the previous page with 302 status. So that's exactly what I'm testing here. And for example, in that post controller, it's just request validate, and here's the task, you need to write those rules. This is a very simple test to start with, and then it gets a bit more interesting. For example, one of the tests is show the validation errors in the blade. So these two texts are expected and in the blade I've just left a comment that you need to perform that task to just show those errors in whatever HTML form you want. The test will just look for those texts. So you go one by one and fix those errors and then after running PHP Artisan test you will get fewer and fewer errors. Currently everything fails, so nine failed tests, but it will get one succeed to succeed and more until you get all successful and then you can make a pull request. So this is your task. For those of you who haven't done previous tests, you need to submit a pull request. If you don't know how to do that, I have a video with instructions and then GitHub actions on that repository will automatically fire the automated test, the PHP unit. And if it succeeds, you will get the check mark under your pull request and it will mean that you succeeded. Now, I told you I won't review the pull requests, but let me help a little, or maybe someone else from the community would help. So if you have something not covered, for example, you covered eight tests out of nine and you don't know you're struggling with one of them, still make a pull request. It will tell you that the tests failed, but then in the pull request message, mention me, GitHub user Pavel Skorob, or maybe someone else from the community would help. So in those cases, maybe ask a question or point to the exact test that you are not sure how to deal with and maybe I or someone else will help. And again, I'm reminding that I'm doing those tests. So this is the seventh week based on my Laravel learning path, a free repository that I posted on GitHub. Here are the topics that in my personal opinion, you need to cover step by step to learn Laravel deeper and deeper. And here are the question marks with previous tests. And now today we got to the validation. So validation is here. And after you cover validation and after you cover file uploads, you would be able to perform the CRUD operation with resource controllers. So next week, probably I will try to cover file uploads, although it's more tricky to test those with automated testing, but I'll see what I can do. But for now, let's focus on the validation. Good luck with the tests and see you guys in other videos.